Now this is a very typical example where we are going to need to use inverse trigonometric ratios. And why do I say so? Well, we see we have a 90 degree triangle and in this triangle we want to solve some of the unknowns. So we have an unknown angle, another unknown angle, and since we only we have two unknowns, we can't find one of the two uh, just by using the, the fact that the inside angle is equal to 180, okay? They are not the same, so we can't assume that just half of 90 each, okay? Um, we do see that we have two given side lengths though. Now if we have two side lengths, we either have the opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. Any two of those would then help me, they all would actually give me an indication on which ratio can I use and which inverse ratio can I use to find the angle. Well, let me stop talking in the air and actually go to explaining by doing the actual problem. So first of all, let's just draw this thing so that it's not this awkward shaped um, one. So there's our 90 degree angle. Across from the 90 degrees, we have this 4.47. So 4, 4, 7, that's the length of our hypotenuse. We see also that one of the right angle sides is 2, so one of the legs of this right angled triangle is 2, the other one is Z. Okay, so just so we don't get confused with the 2 and the Z, I'll make my Z like that. Okay, then the two angles, okay, the one that is opposite the 2 is called Y, and the other one is therefore called X. Okay, and here we can see we have, we want to calculate y, and the only way to do so is by using the fact that we have the opposite and we have the hypotenuse. Okay, so if we want to do y, we use 2 and the other known value 4,47, which means it's opposite and hypotenuse. Now if I use my ratio triangle and I notice that opposite and hypotenuse appears in the sine theta triangle. I want sine of theta, which means I take the opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, theta is just equal to y. So we take sine of y is equal to, so we're asking y a question. Why? What is the ratio of your opposite over your hypotenuse? 2 over 4 comma 4 sorry 4 comma 4 7 okay and now we see we have an unknown in our equation that's inside a trig function and to solve it we use our inverse function in other words y is equal to sine arc sine that's what we call this again remember arc sine of 2 over 4.47 and what do we get let's use our calculator Okay, so first of all, let's calculate what this ratio comes down to as a decimal number. 2 divided by 4.47 equals, okay, there's the ratio, and now I use the arc sign, and you see I don't have an arc sign. If I press my inverse function, then it changes it to arc sign. For you, it would probably be second function, okay, to get arc sign, and if I use arc sign of that, I get 26 point five eight okay so it's rounded so approximately I'm going to use approximation signs twenty six comma five eight degrees okay and now to find the other sides so to find Z I see that Z is the side of is one of the the sides here so I can use Pythagoras Okay, and Pythagoras would say, okay, my hypotenuse squared is equal to my opposite squared plus my adjacent squared. I get my opposite, in this case opposite is 2 squared. My adjacent squared is z squared, that's what I'm trying to calculate. And my hypotenuse is 4 comma 4, 7 squared. So now to solve that, what do I get? Okay. Um, I get that Z is equal to the square root of 4.47 squared minus 2 squared. And what's that answer? Using our calculator again, let's do the interior first and then we take the square root in the end. So 4.47 
squared minus 2 squared is equal to 15.98. The square root of that gives me 3.997. That seems to me like that's going to round to a very nice 4, 4 units. Okay, so we find that our, um, that is 2 and that is going to be 4. And finally, so Z is 4, finally we have our last, okay, we have our last value, we've calculated Y, we just need to calculate X. And since we have Y, we have a 90 degrees, remember that this is 90 degrees minus the other angle, the other non 90 degree angle, so 90 degrees minus Y. We calculated Y, we're 26.58. So y, sorry, not y, x is equal to 90 degrees minus y, that's the other angle, and that gives me 90 degrees minus 26,58 degrees equals, what do we get? 50, uh, I lie, 63,42 degrees. There we go. We've calculated all the unknown values in the triangle. That is called solving the triangle when we find all of the values, angles, sides, alice. Okay, see you in the next bit.